Hey everyone, Bill Lethman here for MoneyEvolution.com. Today's video blog, I'm going to be talking about what I believe to be the top five reasons why you should not buy an annuity. So this video is part of a little series that I put together where I'm talking all about annuities. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, uh, it should be part of a playlist where there's about four or five videos that uh, is intended to educate you more about annuities, help clear up and clarify some confusion that you might have about annuities and help give you the right education to ask the right questions uh, about an annuity that you own or an annuity that you're thinking about buying. So five reasons why somebody wouldn't want to buy an annuity. Uh, the first one is their age. Uh, and this falls into two categories, either somebody is too young or too old. Uh, so most annuities uh, really cannot be issued uh, much past about age 80. And, uh, and there's a good reason for that too. I think as somebody gets uh, older in years, their need for some of the things that the annuity may do for them uh, really kind of diminishes. Uh, uh, again, I talk about this in one of my other videos, but I think one of the primary reasons that a lot of people think about buying an annuity is because they want some type of an income guarantee. And that's usually something that uh, we think about setting up for somebody as they're maybe uh, approaching retirement or early in retirement because they can get the, the long-term benefits of whatever that guaranteed income stream may be. So if you're too old, it uh, may not be appropriate for you to look at annuity. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're too young, uh, maybe something that you don't want to consider as well. So usually people um, that are, say, under 50 years old that have 10 years or more to retirement, they're still in the accumulation mode. They're still in growth mode with their investments typically. And an annuity is probably not going to grow nearly to the extent that some other investment alternatives are going to grow at. Um, and again, we talk about this on the, the blog here as well. Some annuities can be expensive and it's hard to justify um, getting into an annuity at an early age with some of those higher expenses and, um, and, and not maybe offering the same kind of growth potential that other investments can offer. So uh, if you're too young, you may not want to look at an annuity as well. Um, number two is liquidity issues. You know, so uh, if you're thinking about buying an annuity, this really is intended to be a long-term investment vehicle. This is not money that you think you're going to need or want to take out in any significant way anytime really in the next 10 years probably. Uh, most of these annuities, uh, they're meant to be lifetime uh, investments and, and some things change where maybe uh, something better comes along or whatever and, and, and people do change them. But you really want to go into this with the intention that this is something that you may keep really for the rest of your life. And another reason why you, you don't want to get that at too early of an age there. Uh, but um, you know, again, liquidity is a, is a big factor. Again, we've talked about this as well. Most annuities have some penalties for taking your money out early. Uh, some of those penalties can be pretty significant. Uh, probably the most common time requirement to keep an annuity is probably seven years. Some are a little shorter, some are a little bit longer there, but uh, liquidity is another factor there. Um, and number three is uh, kind of alluding to what we talked about with the younger individual, but you're still in growth mode. So if you're still anticipating or expecting that your account is going to grow uh, at a decent rate, uh, kind of similar like to the stock market or to what other investments may offer, uh, an annuity is probably not going to be for you. You're probably going to be disappointed with the returns because again, an annuity is intended to be uh, a safer part uh, potentially of your retirement portfolio. Uh, again, when I say safe, you got, of course got to look at the issuing uh, credit worthiness of the insurance company that's issuing the annuity and things. But um, due to some of the guarantees and the protections that some annuities offer, uh, most people are looking at that to be a little bit safer uh, piece. Um, number four is you don't need the income. And, and we come across this uh, sometimes where uh, people, they've got pensions, they've got social security, maybe they have some other stuff set up. And, and their need for income is really not all that significant. Um, so, uh, you know, again, there may be other reasons that you could be looking at the annuity. Uh, but generally, like I said, most people that are looking at an annuity are probably looking at that for some income or future withdrawal benefits that the annuity has. And if you don't have that need, then an annuity may not be right for you. And the fifth one, really probably the most important, you don't understand how the annuity works or you don't understand how annuities in general work. So if you have somebody that you're talking to about an annuity and they're uh, giving you details, if you can't fairly quickly grasp it and understand what that annuity is gonna do for you and how it's gonna fit into your overall portfolio, um, don't buy it. You, you really uh, need to have uh, something that you understand and 
it could be that the annuity is, is maybe just way too complicated. Uh, some, some are more complicated than others. Uh, it could be the person that is uh, recommending the annuity and maybe they don't fully understand that. And I've seen that many times as well. Uh, so understand the annuity. And if you have questions uh, about an annuity that you're thinking about buying or even an annuity that you already own, um, please use us as a resource. You can send me an email. Uh, I think our phone number will be in the description here on the post. Uh, feel free to call our office. We can schedule just a brief uh, introductory meeting, maybe answer a couple questions that you have. Uh, we have access to a complete database of virtually every annuity that's ever been issued. So even if it's something that goes back five or 10 years, uh, we have access to that information. We can run reports on it and help you understand a little bit more about that. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, send me some comments or feedback. I love to hear what everyone's thinking. Uh, and again, uh, check out the other videos in this series all about annuities. And thanks. I'll see everyone back on our next video. Thanks.